Hey, watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And if you're in the market for a green dial GMT, this is the video for you, specifically if you're looking at Grand Seiko. Uh, I haven't posted any Grand Seiko content in a while and I wanted to make a video today. And so I was going through and trying to figure out what could we do to, to share with you guys. And I couldn't help but notice we had all of these green GMTs. So really, I'm not gonna go over the specs of all of them. This video would take me forever. I'm just really gonna show you each one of these. Uh, I'll throw them on wrist and uh, and ask you really, if you were in the market for that green dial GMT, again, these Grand Seikos, which one would you buy? And if you're not in the market for one, play along with me and uh, entertain me anyway. So up first is the SBGJ25. This retails at $6,800. More of a darker green, but you do see you still have some texture on that dial. I'm going to refer to this more of like a, it's almost like a forest green. Um, so again, six and three quarter inch wrist. Off the top of my head, I want to say this is a 39 millimeter case, maybe 39 and a half. Uh, I will post a video. I am sure I've reviewed all of these independently, individually at some point. I promise you I will link those videos and those reviews in the description so if you're looking for additional information or specific specs or specifications on each one of these models you can find it in those videos so again first one an sbgj 251 6800 you can see you got a nice gold tone gmt hand there to match the gmt text uh, number two here is sbgm 247 this is going to be the least expensive of the group, although they're all pretty close. This is $5,700, and uh, you can see on the first model, we had no bezel whatsoever. Uh, your 24-hour on the dial, and uh, on this model, we do have a fixed stainless steel bezel. You can see you still have the chapter ring in there as well uh, that uh, has the off numbers in there, which is kind of nice um, from the bezel. Um, you have the even numbers on the bezel and the odd numbers on that inner side chapter ring. So again... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a 41, 40 or 41, I think. Again, I should have looked up the case sizes. I know someone's going to ask, but again, all those specs will be in the in the videos in the description. And uh, a six and three quarters definitely wears a little bit larger than that 251 I just had on. And I'm going to go, this is more of a military green, um, a little bit more subdued. So if you like the green, but don't quite uh, want, um, you know, kind of in your face green or a brighter green, this one's probably it. I do love the orange GMT hand on it. Up third is the SBGJ259 Bamboo model. And if you want that bright green, this is definitely the one for you. Uh, this is probably aesthetically the green of my choice. Um, I like the, uh, the vertical um, pattern on that dial. Again, the, the bamboo nickname, there's Dolphin hands, the indices, everything on this. Just if you're going to have one green watch to me, make it green. And this is the one for me personally. Uh, price on this, $6,800, so the same as the 251. And I guess I should mention, too, the uh, the um, movements here. We have a high beat on the first one. I believe this is the spring. Nope, just an automatic on the uh, 247. This 259 is an automatic high beat. And the fourth option I'm going to present to you is the largest of the bunch. This is the one I just reviewed. We just got in stock not too long ago. The SBGE295, 6200. Again, a little bit more of a darker green. You're getting a sapphire bezel. The only one of the group having a rotating bezel. So if that's something you're looking for, this would be the one. And I think if I didn't tell you already, 6,200, I think I did mention that again, the largest one of the bunch and the review for it will be linked in that description. I do like the two color there on the bezel, the dark green with the white, I find visually appealing. I like the white GMT hand on it. And this is the spring drive. I'll show you the back, solid stainless steel case back on this model, your bamboo model, you are getting the exhibition case back. Solid case back, I believe. Yep, on the 247. And I believe you get an exhibition on the 251. You sure do. Last, but certainly not least, and sorry I'm trying to go through, I'm keeping this video relatively short, is the SBGE257. All green. Green ceramic bezel, green dial. Uh, however, the bezel is fixed. So again, the, uh, the 295 I just showed you here is the only one that's going to have a rotating bezel. The rest of them 
fixed on this one, fixed on this one, and no bezel on the uh, the other two there in the corner. So, uh, but again, green kind of have sunburst pattern or effect there on that dial. The same thing, even 24 hour on the uh, bezel, and the odd numbers on that chapter ring, the two tone for night and day in that chapter ring as well. We do have a solid stainless steel case back on this 257. And again, if I didn't mention it, 6200. So you're looking at 6800, 57, 68, 62, 62. So all right around that 665, we'll call it ballpark. So again, for your money, I'll ask you which model are you taking home with you? Where are you spending your money? So uh, again, this is a spring drive model. I'll hit the lights real quick. I've rambled on long enough. Gonna get some loom on them, on a few, and uh, not so much on some others. So again, first up here is that 251. Really not looking at any loom on it. Next up's the 247 here, just your cardinal markers and your hour hands. Your bamboo model, don't believe there's anything on that, just that light play with those indices. And then your 295, again, you get the loom on the bezel here. I did not give these any lighter UV, just that ring light that I have up here. So your cardinal markers, hands, and the bezel, the markers. And then last but certainly not least is the 257. This was the green ceramic bezel. Again, cardinal markers, your GMT hand, and your hand. So as always, greatly appreciate you viewing. Let me know which green Grand Seiko GMT model would you take out of these five. If there's anything I can do for you, shoot me that email, brad at brentlmiller.com, and we'll see you in the next video.